Six countries in East Africa want to create their own unified currency. The countries are Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, South Sudan, Tanzania, and Uganda, which are known as the East African Community, the EAC. The organization's goal is to create a common market and eventually a monetary union for the countries of the region. But recently, Secretary General Peter Matuk has noted that the EAC's unified currency can be achieved in four years. But however, there's been some pushback from a technical working group to move the deadline to 2031. Uh, it makes me not excited anymore because it seems like somebody wants to push the deadline so far away that people lose interest in it and with time people forget about it altogether. But based on the initial schedule, the unified currency was expected to be placed in 2024, which is next year. East Africa is one of Africa's most progressive sub-regions. While not without its interwoven socio-economic issues and conflicts, East Africa is nevertheless in the forefront of the age-long goal of creating a united Africa. Its trade collaborations, cooperative economic initiatives and shared resources have made it Africa's most innovative regions. However, its push to unify the region's currency is a strategy in a league of its own. Even amongst most progressive regions globally, those sort of idea is looked down on. Economics around the world, without an intensely shared history, would rather avoid the topic altogether. But not East Africa, which is visibly keen on realizing their unification dream. The region is not just insistent on creating a unified currency, but is also pushing aggressively for the actualization of this initiative. The EAC's Secretary General Peter Matuk has declared that the East African Monetary Union would be achieved within the next four years. He also noted that the Council of Ministers representing the group is expected to make a decision soon on the location of the East African Monetary Institute. The single currency will ease business and movement of persons within the region. It is in line with the EAC's goal to make the region borderless so that people can move and trade freely as envisioned in the Common Market Protocol. Plans are at an advanced stage to hold similar consultations for Tanzania, Rwanda, Kenya and South Sudan in 2023. The EAC is also sending a delegation to Somalia to evaluate the country's inclination to join the fold. The of Somalia into the EAC will be very important because whatever issues they could be in Somalia, maybe at Shabab or anything else, we're able to handle them within the framework of the EAC. Because our village already we have, a, we have our whole uh, main agreement in, in Somalia, some from Burundi, others from Kenya, others from Uganda. And therefore, it's only fair that Somalia now starts thinking during the community so that we can be able to work with them and support the challenges that they are. The head of state summit of the region has asked the council to follow up on the application by Somalia to join the community. The implementation of a unified currency will not only simply be trade and financial transactions within the region, but it will also increase the region's competitiveness in the global market. It will also strengthen the economic integration of the region and promote stability and prosperity in East Africa. In conclusion, what I'm trying to say is the EAC's push for a unified currency is a bold and ambitious initiative that has the potential to bring great benefits to the countries of the region. While there are challenges and obstacles, of course, to overcome, the EAC's progress towards this goal is a strong indication that the region's commitment to creating a more united and prosperous East Africa is real. If you like content like this, consider subscribing. If you hate content like this, uh, dislike the video. If you want to support the channel, uh, subscribe. Uh, I'll make more content like this. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.